and to say the least, <laughs> those are the three of the day. If, uh, if you haven't ca caught on yet. Oh, look. so that's a freeze mage. Yeah. 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 For the freeze. Against a demon lock, a weird lock, with an illidan. Nice. Well, I think Thais is prepared though, because this is not this is not a bad matchup for the mage in general. Unless something goes awfully wrong, this is generally pretty winnable. I mean... Hmm. Warlocks are known for having a weakness to Freeze Mage in general, unless I'm mistaken. No, you're not mistaken. At least from from my knowledge. Mm -hmm. From what I remember, that was true. So now... Hmm. What is the strategy for Xixo here? Does he have to play the Malganis as soon as possible with Implosion just to stack damage as soon as possible also? That's one way to play it. The problem is if uh, like you would need to be able to answer a Doom Guard. Uh, Doom Guard. Doom Sayer. Yeah. Because if that comes out, then you're going to be in a world of hurt losing Malganis. Well, Implosion and Dark Bomb seems kind of nice. Yeah. Oh, that Coil is going to be pretty useful this turn. That's going to allow Zixo to put down quite a big board, but... The Explosive Sheep is right there to answer it. Although Explosive Sheep is going to put the Nubian Egg on the board. Yeah, that's the problem. Hmm, that's quite a bit of damage oh, that could be coming out here for Zixo. No, uh, it should be it should be two ends, right, from the implosion. We had two, three, four, and now we have, that's the first. We cycled back, yeah. yeah Our yeah. theory is, uh, is false. Yeah, it's something bugged. Yeah. Arcane Intellect, do you just drop the Explosive Sheep here? I think you do. You have this second Ice Block, but you, you don't see to get any Doomsayers. So... I mean, actually, about... if you play Explosive Sheep, you almost give him more damage. So you could just ping an Imp and pass. What about just playing Falnos? No, you don't need so much cards. Ah, so he kills one of the demons and just moves on. Ah, that's gonna be a very important card that he'll bot. When Alex Straza falls down, if she falls down. Frostbolt, so let's um let's see. Oops, sorry. That was not me. You might have to Frost Nova in this position, as awkward as it sounds. You're not clearing the board, but this is not you where you want to be at this stage. No Blizzard, yeah, nothing. No Blizzard. Blizzard will be useless also, kind of. Yeah, it would at least be, it, it would do something. It would slow down the board at least partially for the time being. Oh man. Uh, this is not this... looking good. Yeah, and Zixo's investment on this board is very small. So do you have to play Falnos Frostbolt? on the Illidan. Illidan and then ping it. I think that's a really good line of play. It removes the biggest threat, the biggest amount of damage, and you're gonna get draw a card off of this, which gives you the ability to find those Doomsayers, find those Blizzards and those Flame Strikes potentially. Probably, yeah, probably yes. Oh, a Doom Guard, hello. And hmm. Life Tap. Well, one of the I wanted to say that one of the imps will be trading, but no. Flame Strike is found. That's a sight for sore eyes. It doesn't do much but... either. It might it might make everything worse, in fact. Yeah. Because now you can trigger the void color instantly, so that's a uh, that's a dead card for now. Oh, there's a blizzard, but still. Um... I, this is gonna be a good ice lance, though. This is going to put a lot of pressure on Zixo because he knows that if the fireballs stack up in Thais's hand, mm -hmm. he's on a clock. And although he does have the heal bot, that's all he's got. Still, you got you have to deal with the uh, Antonidas. So you sacrifice you sacrifice your imps and dark bomb. No, you abuse you the need... sergeant and BGH like a boss. Oh yeah, that's um, also good. No, 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 it's not good. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna lose the Alex Straza answer. You have to, you have to use your, your line of play was, I think, the best one, ultimately. Oh no, he's gonna go for the BGH play, what? Okay. I'm out of this game. 
that's it. I'm taking a flight back to. Whoa, dark bomb. Oh, the that's face the, the egg? that's the best aggressive move you can make. Yeah, and now Thais has to wipe the board. More than half. Oh, wipe three fireballs. Wait, it's How 18. Much? No, he still lacks there. damage because it's only three fireballs. So he has to clear the. No, you can't. You you can only freeze it. What if you explosive so... sheep? Well, you explosive sheep and you mm. Nova. What about just Nova and uh, Pink Face? No, that doesn't make any sense because you play extra as an extent. Yeah. And um, I think Nova is mm. good with the sheep. Hmm. Because then you Alex and you win over two turns unless he finds a Lothab or some kind of massive um, damage output. Because he's got a full board so he can't play anything on it at the moment. So unless he's got even more implosions, a coil or another dark bomb for your sheep. More implosions than two. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's not happening. Yeah, I tend to agree with you. All right. Well, the Frost Nova is coming down by Thais here. Pew, 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 pew. And he pings the face. Second pole wall, I mean. Well, that's quite an, an amount of damage. Yeah, it's too bad he can't actually do anything with it. Well, that's gonna be a coil and it's gonna allow him to play something else he wants. He can't make the mistake of so, playing the anti-kill bosses. You play the Doomguard and count on not... Oh man, can you? Uh, ...discarding anything from your hand apart from I, the Falnos? I don't, I don't know if you can idea. afford that. Yeah. yeah. It's way too risky, I think. Well, we're gonna see what Thais does, but I suspect it's gonna be a very standard Alex Trolls turn. Unfortunately, it's gonna get potentially punished by the Malganus. Oh, that's... it's really rough. I mean, Zixo could even play Malganus and sacrifice everything he's got into Alex and get himself a 7-9 Doomguard. Oh man, and actually Thais after that point has to go full face with the fireballs until the ice block pops. Mm -hmm. And he plays the second block, so if Zixo about... finds another heal bot... What about you don't play the... Uh, the Alex? Alexstrasza? Yeah. So you just, just buy attrition. With... You can wipe the board multiple mm -hmm. times here, it's really not that bad. What about Fireball, Frost Nova, Pink Face? Well, he's not doing that. He's gonna go for the typical finisher for Mage. Oh. Well, that's, that's gonna be an essential draw. card. No, that's gonna be a an, an insane card. You play Malganus here, you trade everything you've got into that Alex and you go full face. And then as soon as you think you're about to die, you drop he'll bot Lothab over two turns possibly, and then you lock the mage out of his ice block. True, true. Oh man. Yeah, that's what we call a good draw. Yeah. Quite a draw. Okay, you could even trade Thalnos and your Void Caller, keep your 4 4, get the Doom Guard out. Oh, this is perfect, actually, for Zixo. Hmm. You just slam the Lothab, right? That's it. Do you play Lothab here? Well, <clears throat> I don't think I don't think you you want to, but I think it's gonna be a double trade. Ooh, I thought he was gonna play the Malganus himself. Well, maybe he will play it still. He can he can do it. Yeah, but it was a gamble, because if you play, if you had to play Doomguard manually, then you lost the ability. What's happening? I don't even know. That does... He's going to deal 9 damage to it and lock the board down. So but it doesn't down... really make him win, so... I don't know why he did that, but we'll see. The, the, I mean, it still now works. Now it's for Nova Doomsayer, at last. It still works, but I think it's weaker than the uh, alternative Malganus. We'll see exactly what Zixo goes for. He might still be able to pull this off. There is he a has shadow no fight. option to kill the Doomsayer. No way, he, he has to use the overwhelming. But this sucks. No, it's worse than what he... I, I, yeah, I think the... 
I think not playing Malaganus last turn might have been a mistake. Yeah, I think so too. Now you have to commit the Pobolming and Shadow Flame. Yeah, now you have to commit that, otherwise the game is out of your hands. Mm -hmm. You can even play the heal bot on the back of it, so it seems bad, but it's not as terrible. The problem is now the mage has two potential ice blocks, and you've just lost your Lothab. Oh, oh man, oh, this man. is uh, this is most likely over. You, do you start with Pyroblast, so you can go Fireball, Ice Block, and then double Fireball? Yeah, I think you do start with Pyroblast. Yeah. It's the best. It's the best to use Fireball, uh, Pyroblast when you still have your Ice Block up. But you know what's tricky? The Dr. Boom is going to be able to pop the ice block through the turn. So I think he, Thais might have to go for more of a board control play here as opposed to going for the win. Yeah. I like this. He knows that if there's something that falls down like a Dr. Boom or a Malganus, he's going to be stalled for a few turns before the lethal comes out. Mm-hmm. Okay. This seems to be fair. Sylvanas. Well... Can't so do play you double. drop Dr. Boom? No, you can't. You have to play it when she's super low on health. So she can't flame strike at all. Mm -hmm. That way she dies if she tries to. So you played Sylvanas, but that's that's not good at also, I think. Yeah, no, nothing you're going to play here on this board is good, because you expect the board to go. Right, that board is essentially dead to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, Sacrificial Malganus. That's a flame strike ping if I've ever seen one. Or Fireball Ping, pick your choice, but I like Flame Strike Ping a lot. It unlocks the board for him. He can actually just straight up go face afterwards. Yeah, he can. And I like that. Well, the smell Ganus was a bit unusual for Mzixo. It's a bit late, I think. Now the Ice Barrier comes down, giving Thais an extra 8 effective life. Really well played by Thais, though. Yeah, very well played. This is the line. This is all. This is pretty much the optimal line of play that Thais had to take as Freeze Mage, and I really, really like his Freeze Mage play. He seems to be a very, very strong player in that regard. Zix still seems a bit unfamiliar with the matchup. I'm not sure it's something you face very often, anyway. Freeze Mage versus mid range lock. Might not you... mean so. Well, he's a great player, so... I yeah, he is a great player. But something seems to be off today. Like, players are making really... You know, so, more mistakes than usual, I would say. So, Pyroblast, Fireball, Fireball, and just seal this game, is my yeah. guess. Probably, yes. Unless Kazan Mystic, but are you really going to play around something you can't beat? No way. No, you can't uh, play around that. If, if he has it, you know what? You give him the game and you smile. I mean, there's <laughs> only so much There's only so much you can do, right? Like, if he's got Kazan Mystic, then so be it. Yeah. He life taps desperately to find something. And he concedes, doesn't even bother. He knows his opponent has two fireballs from the Archmage Antonidas, and Thais takes the first win, Freeze Mage versus uh, Warlock. Hmm. That's a pretty well, good way to deal with this. With 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, and Music Sergeant with that. Now Thais gets a good cure with the Mad Scientist. And then a Lepronome is going to be able to weave in his hero power. That's also very important. We mentioned that a bit earlier, but... Oh, the Iron changed. Owl might be useful here. Will but you do play you immediately? Do uh, not, I don't think he use it this turn. Although if you don't use it this turn, then he, if you sacrifice your uh, your egg... He might trigger the mad scientist into it, but you're happy if he's trading, right? That's yeah, that's true. If he takes his time, then you're pretty happy. So now just la it's just leper gnome and pink. Yep, you just weave in your hero power every turn yeah. until the warlock just kills over and dies. But now there's going to be a good iron bcal on that mad scientist, denying the first of two explosive traps. I mean, that's my guess, but it might not be the case. No explosive trap for Thais. Now his hand is actually running pretty small here. It's running small, but um, 
He's got enough the damage. The time is, to be honest, time is uh is on is on Ty's side. In yeah, this systematically. Matchup. Yeah. Because there is not uh, not so much healing in the weird lock as in hand lock, right? So you got bigger uh, amount of burst from from the hand, uh, from the hunter player essentially. All right, so you can wipe this board with unleash abusive. Do you, you can wipe that as a two I don't five think so. three you can, two, but you don't want to. You, you can um, let yourself get. Yeah. To, I mean, you can get the damage from the board from one turn. I think. Yeah, what you want to do is you want to take your time here because at this point, if you're letting um, the warlock dictate the trades after you've you know wasted your unleash, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Yeah. Exactly. I think this is a much better play, and the unleash here is actually going to be in insane. This is the most Ma insane unleash. Maybe there will be even a knife driver draw. Nope. But second kill command. Yeah, that wow. should be game almost. Actually, you don't even. So yeah, just, you yeah. unleash the hounds, abusive sergeant, and hero power. Yeah, and hero power, and yeah, ignore that's... the board. Or you could hit for five since you have a beast on the board, which you won't have next turn, and then but... you use the abusive for wolf rider next turn. Hmm. Well, that's basically you with Abuser Sergeant and Hero Power. You deal four points of damage. Kill and command. Is, kill command yeah, will be yeah, plus, plus two. one, and then I, I think I would still rather use Abuser Sergeant because it puts one creature on board. Yeah, I mean the, your creatures are all gonna die pretty much no matter what. All right, so that puts Zixo on six health at the end of this turn, unless Thais decides he wants to trade, but I can't imagine he would at this point. Not with yeah. a hand like this. He can seal lethal very, very soon. Oh, he trades for the Defense of August. Does it make any difference? I'm trying to figure out exactly what he's playing around. Either way, he Wolf Rider abusive hero power is going to be lethal, so... Unless uh, Zixo top decks an antique heal bot. That's going to be difficult, nope. and that is not a heal bot. It's still one chance And it's nope. still not a heal bot. He's got well, damage. that's basically it. Yeah. Wolf Rider, I mean, Abusive Sergeant, play. and Hero Power seals the deal. Yep, doesn't even need the kill command. The second kill command is just super fluid in this position. Dice is going to be taking this in a five minute game, I think. Yep. That's as fast yep. as it gets. And honestly, this is one of the. Um, this is one of the craziest. Matchups, I feel like it's so quick. Face Hunter just ends the games against Warlock so quickly, unless the anti heal, like if they don't find anti heal bot or sludge belcher, they're Okay, um, I think I was kicked out by the software, but we're back. No, it's the internet that lagged out for everybody in your uh, vicinity. Oh, really? So we're going back with the match in a second. Had a little bit of a technical issue there. Excuse me? We had a little bit of a technical issue there. For sure. yeah. yeah, I can see the game. All right. Yeah, we can see the game. So we're going back to the game. And uh, how it looks. Um... Looks like a zoo board. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> it looks like every zoo board I've ever seen. That's pretty crazy, though. It's look not looking grim for Tice, though. He got the bigger, bigger minion. And the problem is that 
The only problem is that the warlock will outlast him with the amount of cards he has. Hmm. Oh, there's a good brawl if that's needed. The thing is, I don't know how effective Doomsayer is in this matchup. You have to drop it preemptively, I feel, if you want to do anything with it. And then the Warlock just passes and lets you play. I guess you could use it to buy time at some point. So abusive BGH is a possible play, but you're playing into Brawl pretty severely. I think you just use the Mortal Coil. I think he likes the abusive BGH, but it's kind of weird. Mortal Coil feels so much better with Void Caller on the back end. What about just killing the Shields Maiden and dropping the Void Caller? Yeah, that's exactly uh, what I just said. No, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, no problem, man. It's getting late. So Void Caller comes out, which means as soon as that dies, then Zixo is going to get himself a free big Warlock minion. Then this is most likely a Draxus or Malganis. What if you play Doomsayer here? Oh, man. This would be fun. Oh, no! No, there's Draxus! Oh, I'm kidding. It's fine. I just love to see Draxus' weapon get eaten alive. What? Well, um, well uh, you have the shield block shield slam combo for the um, from the demon that will be spawning from the Void Color. Yep. Oh man, double anti heal bot here for Zixo. 16 extra effective health. 8 left ups. Snap. That's fatigue. Implosion comes out and... It hits for 8. Now wow. it's, of course it's 4. Wow, that, right sounds, uh, that sounds good. This is a nightmare. At least there's a whirlwind in uh, Thais' hand. Oh man. Zixo is dark bomb in face because... He well, over life tapped. But I think uh, he would have played the Dark Bomb anyway because he just wants to get that armor down. Interesting. I like uh, Acolyte of Pain Whirlwind. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the follow up, but it doesn't feel too bad. That, that is actually a really good draw for Thais. Being able to use that Whirlwind for two things at once is. Pretty effective because he was like you mentioned the warlock had a much higher hand, but this allows the warrior to get back a little bit in the race. And oh my god, that could be impactful! Yeah, that's true. He has to make it, he might has to make a decision, but I think no matter what he does here, he doesn't feel confident because if it's a Malgan that comes out, he's gonna get punished. He has to wait for next turn to use that second charge and. Are we going to see a Doomsayer? We see a Doomsayer, all right. Zixo doesn't mm. even bat an eye. No, I am useless. No, he doesn't. Well... Iron Bical. <sighs> yeah, it looks like an Owl play to me. I think you have to. Owl, owl with Antique or Owl with Defender. Um, yeah, it's kind of okay. I don't you know. have to silence that. Do you even have to? I mean, you have to silence the Doomsayer, otherwise, you give your opponent the initiative on dealing with your demon. But I don't think that's is something that the problem? you really want to do. You, you know, what if you what if you just play Jaraxxus and you just let Malganus come out mm -hmm. after the Void Caller comes out? I don't know. He does You've seen Harrison Jones. Uh, I like the idea of denying the card draw from the Acolyte of Pain, and you would deny the card draw with allowing the Doomsayer to pop up, pop up, uh, yeah, right, uh, to blow up. So, hmm. It also leaves a target for the brawl. Oh, one mana short of playing Doctor Seven, unfortunately. But I think this may be a decent time to. You know what? It could have been better if he attacked into the Void Caller and then went for the Shield Block, Armor Up, Shield Slam. Mm-hmm. I agree. Actually, now that I think about that, I'm surprised he did not do it. Now that I think about it. Well, you can play it slow. Either way, whatever demon comes out of there can get brawled as well, just like everything else. And now that... there's a Lilden. Now that's a play. 
So you play into Brawl. I always, I've always had a soft spot for Illidan, but it's been so tough to make him fit. Not so much because he's bad. I mean, in situations like these, he actually is a really great minion. Because if they, you know, if they have a BGH and they use it there, then Malganna sticks around. Um, yeah. But it, it's such a tough minion. When you get it on curve, it generally just dies and does nothing. Do you remember the old version of Illidan? Yeah, I remember when you draw three cards and everybody discards three. That was great. Yeah. Six mana, six, six. Six six six. Everybody discards three cards. Number of the beast. It was like, it would have been the craziest Zulok deck though. Like imagine that legendary in Zulok. You discard three cards. Okay, I don't care. Let me just get three more. Um, it would have been the nastiest thing if that had existed back then. This is the reason why it doesn't exist. Yeah, they said it was because uh, this card was an unfun mechanic. But I can I can tell you, it would have been worse for other reasons than this card. Like it would have. I mean, imagine the power of that card in the aggro deck, so it would have just been disgusting. True. Well, that may force a Brawl from Thais. It would be like a better Neptulon. Oh, Brawl, Shield Block, Armor Up, Shield Slam isn't enough. How does he do this? Um, Is he going to have to execute the Demon that comes out? Then it's Illidan and it dies. Then you have to use BG Armor well. Up, Shield Slam, Execute. He's gonna or execute the other way this around. And brawl. Yep. And Malganus comes out. Oh my god, this guy's gonna get brawled. And if it doesn't get brawled, BGH will take it out. Oh man, this is not what Zixo wants to see. And the answer was poor little Malganus. Oh, Malganus lives. Not for long. Yeah, true. <laughs> I am Malg. Bro. <laughs> there was nothing there for him to do. I mean, shot, shot between the eyes. Yeah. So it didn't last very long. Here. You play yep. Illidan, you play Abusive, you drop Mortal Coil. Oh, that's no, a great No, no, you, you just play Thanos and Mortal Coil. Yeah, this got much better all of a sudden. Three, uh, six, how many cards? Three, six, seven, eight. So you will get to ten if he kills your Thanos. And the brawl was already being played, so you don't need to worry with the Lydon. You can just, you know. Yeah, you can flood the board and force them to deal with the same problem that happens when muster for battle occurs. Mm -hmm. If they don't have an AOE like that's by it, this is going to be very wow, close. Wow, look at this. You can drop a Lydon and drop four cards. Savannah Shadow you... Flame. What about Illidan? Man, Illidan is crazy here. Oh my god, I love Illidan in this position. This is this is definitely going to be, uh, I think, an Illidan BGH. Illidan BGH and what? I don't think anything else. No, you just well, unless you want to powerwhelm something, but what? You could abusive Man. sergeant one yeah, of the minions just said. because. But it's I don't burst. think that's the case. It's good burst. Oh, you could set up lethal now if you're in Thais's position. Actually, how much damage is there? There's seven, five. Uh, yeah, you have to kill that Illidan with Shield Block, Shield Slam. Seven damage is not something you can take. But mm -hmm. having that weapon is really important to kill the opponent. Yeah. You're gonna be using that for Grom. Uh, but you're still one point of lethal. Unless the bomb hits face. And you have to, like, count. There is no taunt in Coming six down, yeah. yeah. And there is currently none, so f as far as that's concerned, it feels like Thais might be able to land the lethal. Hmm. It's not impossible. We're gonna have to see what happens with the boom bot, I think, ultimately. Uh, that would have been nice. With Grom, though, that's uh, that's yeah, even that's more nice. damage. Now, now, it has now lethal. it's lethal. Yeah, that's lethal. But that is now wait, lethal. How many points of damage does. Never mind. Oh, wow. Perfect boom bot. So now we just play. That's why didn't go face, right? I think so, but the thing is you're telegraphing, you're about to play Grom, so maybe you don't want to do that and you just play Sylvanas. I just don't see the point of that if he's got Siphon Soul. Mm -hmm. Well, on an empty board, Sylvanas doesn't feel so good. Yeah, it feels like trash. It's just to put a body down, but at this point, with the combo in hand and a Death Spy developed, Zixo's on the back foot, he needs to find... Oh, and Defender of Argus! Does. Top dicked. Well... He might be forced to play subpar minions to get it done, though. Subpar? You mean Sylvanas, which is not being traded by the Death Spite? 
Yeah, yeah that's, that's subpar. Does he really have a choice though besides that? Yeah, it's probably like getting a 6-6 six -six is relevant. It's pretty relevant. Then Tice has to answer that with uh, Sylvanas of his own. Zixo knows what's in his Thais, in the Thais hand, or at least he has to suspect that's what's there. Otherwise, that seems like an unusual line of play coming from Thais. But most warrior games end like this. They go for your face once, and you know they are setting up some kind of lethal. He, he can't tap here. He can't possibly tap. We've yeah, seen him... That kills you. Oh, man. That's deep. Thank you. I'm drowning. <laughs> You need the rope? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. So, this is going to be uh, Zixo's misplay. He's going to go for the double taunt with Defender. And I okay, can't so double taunt that. is keeping him from dying. Yeah, but look at this now. Jaraxxus doesn't give... Jaraxxus doesn't come out as a... So you just drop the Savannahs? Then, I kind of, I kind of feel like it, yeah. Then your feels... opponent uses Sylvanas and Power Overwhelming, and then you lose. And you lose, yes. Yeah, rest in peace. Maybe you don't do that. Oh, what if you just actually attack four ten? No, you just lose the game as well. You, you have, have to play option. Sylvanas and yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Well, maybe there's a second ball in Tyson's deck. Otherwise, this is going to be really problematic. Actually, okay. wait, how much damage is there? We have to calculate it. There's plus 10. 8, 11, uh, 15, There's 13 17, extra damage. 20. 13 20, 22. Damage. Not enough. Let's see what Zixel does. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a really boring Sylvanas powerbombing turn, but... Yep. I have to see. Yep, yep, yep. No-brainer here. Well, I don't think Tice has a way out out of this situation. A uh, second brawl would be yeah, everything, yeah. but I really don't know. I've seen one player play two brawls recently, and Tice was not one of them. And now he's relying heavily on that death bite to really give him the kill. Pretty much the best way he gets the kill. He's still lacking a few points of damage, and that's the problem. Unless he get, gets like two silences well he has it with cruel task and grom together it's just that this board is completely locked out yeah, yeah but what i mean is if he uses the weapon to kill one of the uh one of the counters yeah he can finish off the second counter of the cruel taskmaster but still he will be lacking points of damage even if a second taskmaster it will on, only would it will be only 12. do you just i think you still have to try to do it Regardless, you have to go for the only chance you've got at this, and it's gonna take quite a while, but... Oh, Doomguard. So how many points of damage is that? That's 4, 6, 9, 13, 16, 19, 24, 29. Yeah, so that's that is actually of uh, yeah, short of lethal, but quite there, honestly. So... You lose your Abusive Sergeant? Them, so, yes. Abusive Sergeant for your Abusive Sergeant to kill the Shields Maiden, the rest goes face. And you play Jaraxxus? Yeah, that could be a play. I like that, because it makes sure that the, the only thing that comes out of the Void Caller is the Doom Guard. Mm -hmm. Effectively. It feels to me like this, no matter what is done here by Zixo, unless he intentionally throws the game, this is probably like, his. sacrifices both minions uh, with Taunt right now. Yeah, like loses both to Shield Maiden. That's the only way I can see him lose this. Harrison Jones would be cute. Didn't he play it already? He did. Yeah, he did. He already did. It got yeah. played on uh, Shield Maiden. On, uh, sorry, the uh, Acolyte oh, Paint, the Implosion. Way more, way better than what I was proposing. Poor Wilming, uh, Sylvanas. To steal another 5 5 and deal 9 points of damage, yeah, that's way better than what I said. So here he's gonna be forced to attack into this, and ooh, wait. So you no. attack? No, you're gonna. You, you're still dead. 
Unfortunately, yeah, that's sadly, but you'd have to attack first and then Alex yourself. But mm -hmm. I mean, he's gonna that's die regardless. Basically what, he what do you know. do? Yeah. That's or the only you option. Attack the four five, then you cool task the three two, then you play sludge, and then and then you die. That would be a doom guard also. What if he leaves that five, four five alive and doesn't let it die? <clears throat> Well, that's the thing that Tice is thinking, but it doesn't really yeah. change much. To be honest, it doesn't change anything. He's, he's dead no matter what. If Wait, if he kills the 3-2 and plays Belcher, that still dies. No, to he the, still dies. Everything. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the only play that he could have had to maybe live a little bit, but that makes the Doom Guard come out by default. Well, he's gonna go for the uh, <clears throat> as safe a play as he can come up with. But still, too much of damage is uh, being hoarded yeah. by six zero. Dark so. bomb abusive and doom guard. That's more than necessary. Uh, he's not gonna go for the overkill. Just a straight up <laughs> weapon defend of Argus. Six zero so. doesn't go for BM. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I think the first two games were too short for him to feel confident in his ability to BM and be taken seriously. So he just goes for the first win that he's got here against Thai. So he's going to be able to stick in this tournament than everyone else, unless I'm mistaken. Well, he played more of a fatigue mage, and that's one of the decks okay. that actually wins against Warrior, right? I thought it was Freeze. If it's fatigue, then no way. No way. Warrior's a good pick. So well, this is, in fact, Face Hunter from Zixo, based on yeah. what I can see in that hand. So we can assume that. The mage was freeze mage. That or Zixo feels really confident in his ability to get huffers. Let's see. Huffer? Yeah, yeah no, of he's, course. Uh, yeah, that's a huffer. You, you know what? I think I, I was spot on with that one. I'm just curious to know though. Oh, that's a pretty cool card. Oh man, I would have slammed that on the board. <laughs> I would have slammed that doomsayer. That's a good turn four play either way. Snake well, it trap. Sucks, sucks for Tice. It doesn't look good at all right now because of that Huffer, you know? As I said, if Zixo feels confident in his ability to top deck or to get Huffers, everything could go well. And so far, so good. Tice doesn't find so any whirlwinds. So now you throw the Doomsayer and armor up. up. And then turn 5. Well, Zixo maybe, maybe will drop what he just know? snake trap hero power? Do you just let that guy die and just hit for four? I don't think so. Yeah, me neither. Maybe just use Wolf Rider and Huffer to kill the Doomsayer? If the Whirlwind hits, you're dead. Well, you're not dead, but you're losing a lot of value. Yeah. Not so much. Not so much? You're losing Wolf Rider and Huffer. Oh man, he's gonna kill this. No. Harrison Jones is a dead card. Well, that was almost like a healing touch. Yep. Two now healing you touch. play Acolyte of Pain and Hero best. Power, right? Yeah, I think you want to Hero Power as often as the enemy Hero Power does, at the very least, and even more. Good thing you've got the Shield Maiden next turn, and you. the thing is he's got Alex Straza, so he can stabilize. The problem is the amount of burst that Zixo's packing in his hand right now is obscene. He's even got a second bow to make sure that he doesn't lose Consistent damage output. Hmm. The draw comes for Thais. It's gonna be useful. It's an execute. Not bad. That can kill a Huffer. Yeah. And you pair it up with uh, Harrison Jones. But it doesn't look good for Thais at all. The thing is... Oh, that improves the, the odds quite drastically. He gets to curve in everything. Oh, man. That's actually much better now. With the Shield Maiden... He's got a fiery war axe, a shield block. So what's your turn seven then? No oh, shield block, fiery war axe, armor up. That's seven pl plus yeah. seven health plus mm -hmm. uh, card draw, and you've still yeah, got that, a shield made in the right. That should be good. Ah, plays a snake trap. Thais is gonna need an AOE. SAP. Yeah, like right now, in fact. That's not it. Well, that's so not you... an AOE, but you can. Do you, does he does he know that? Oh. Let's see where the knives go. This is gonna be the knives of doom. One, 
goes is surprised by that. I he would be surprised too. Though. Yeah. I mean, that's a really surprising tech. It's something I haven't seen in quite a bit, but it effectively puts three damage on the board. So I can't fault him for playing that. But. Hmm. No, so you play Belcher and Armor Up? I, th I think you either Armor Up or play Fire War Axe. It's, uh, and you kill a 1 1. You pick your well, choice. You need the health as as yeah. much. Uh, I, I think it's more. More needed it's more than important. the armor, yeah. uh, than the weapon. And you, you, I mean, you would still be getting a shield maiden turn eight with a potential fire war axe armor up. So I guess either way, it adds up to the same thing as long as you're not dead right away. Hmm. And kill command gets slapped on that sludge belcher. We can't forget that there's um, an Alexstrasza in Ty's hand. Yeah, that's but one of the still... things I said very early. Like if he manages to squeeze. To turn nine, he's gonna be able to at least recover some amount of health. Mm -hmm. But still, he has to somehow clear the board before he plays Alexstrasza. So uh, his Ixo is not gonna give him more mana right now. There's no way. Yeah. So most likely we'll see a Shields Maiden hero power. Oh wait, well, there's a Belcher. Belcher shield block after hitting that snake, or or the Lepernome. I don't know. I like Belcher because it prevents so much damage. So from what going. about you kill the Leper Gnome because you got to six points of health. Then you armor up. And Shield Maiden? Oh, Shield Maiden, yeah. Nah, I just play Belcher. She, well, I, I don't know. I feel like Belcher tanks even more damage. Well, you're right. Apparently he's going to play around the Iron Decal. But the, um, I think he played Shield Maiden before Belcher because he wanted both cards to be effective. And if you would play them the other way around, then you would lose one attack with the Shields Maiden. Is that lethal? I'm calculating there's 7, Sorry, 9, 10, 11. No, he's too off. Alex Straza is going to save him, bring him back from the brink of death. Phew. I was close. He's not out of the woods yet, but... Definitely not. There is a possibility. A faint hope. Oh my god! Wow. Oh wow! Oh this wow! Top so you, deck. you kill the Haunted Creeper, right? Actually, the question... No, I think you kill... Oh man, I almost want to kill the Arcane Golem. One, you can let your Shield Maiden die. I know you don't want to, but you have to. I would rather kill the Arcane Golem. Yeah. I, I think the two uh, damage... I mean the Haunted Creeper, sorry. But you, she's getting killed anyway, so there's no beast for the kill command. Oh man, that was really tense, but now Zixo's gonna go full-on aggression, he's got nothing else to do with that Sludge Belcher and the Shield Block should be putting a stop to whatever he's trying to do. Yeah. Oh That's man, this is uh, Very nice ending. Obviously, Warrior's best chance here is to get that Alex Strauss late game and quite a bit of armor, and he found one Shield Maiden, I believe two Shield Blocks. Mm -hmm. That was very important for him. So you drop Belcher, sh uh, Shield Block, and Armor Up, right? And you go phase for it. Yeah, you draw first in case you find a, maybe a second whirlwind if you're lucky. I don't yeah, know if he wants to. Uh, obviously, no second whirlwind. Otherwise, why would you do that? Yeah, definitely no second whirlwind. Oh, well, that's a nice pickup. <laughs> yeah, that's Count nice. it up. And now Zixo is probably gonna have to concede, and he does. That's gonna be game high wow. stakes. The series. With an amazing Alex Straza versus Face Hunter, who, despite the 